J.D., you must have been filled with uh, tremendous anxiety yes. knowing that you were going to be going on a plane with John yes. Blitz and he was going to yes. try to commandeer the plane's microphone and, and make a proposal to you. As soon as we got to the gate, I'm just like standing there, you know, we're waiting to get on. And he's walking away from me. And like, I try to have eyes on him whenever <laughs> I was in the aisle seat. He was in the middle seat. And every time he got up, I knew something was happening. I would, I would always straddle him, like, romantically as when I tried to get out of the seat. <laughs> now, you had this all planned out, John, this idea of making a proposal to J.D. to be your husband. Because even the night before when you were at the Japanese restaurant, at the end yeah. of the night, you took a picture of yourself kissing J.D. Uh, yeah. So you could show it to the flight attendant so that yeah. she would see you were a real couple. Like, I thought we were just joking around or, you know, I was half drunk, and, you know, uh, or full drunk. And I thought we were just taking a funny picture, and I didn't realize it was part of this <laughs> whole fucking master plan of his. I show the flight attendants the picture, and I ask them, they're like, oh, my God, that's so sweet. You know, we've been working for the airline for so many years, and we've never been part of a, a mid-air proposal. They were, oh. Everyone was so excited and so oh. sweet about it. How long does it take you to convince the flight attendant to uh, let you commandeer the speaker? In two seconds, they were like, oh, my God, yes, let's do it. Talk to us a couple hours into the flight. I went back, and they're, like, asking me to show me, like, show me where JD is, and I point to the seat. They're like, okay, okay, we have the balloons ready. We have the confetti. And they made a nice little card saying congratulations from the crew. <laughs> JD, what is going through your mind as he's proposing? I'm just, like, trying to ignore him. I just was just like, let me find something on the TV. Let me just see what's going on on the TV here. The flight attendant was tapping JD, and he was like, I know, I know, get yeah, away I know. from me. <laughs> I, was like, I know what's going on. I know that I know what he's no. doing. All right, here he is. Here's John Blit proposing to JD. Um, oh, fuck. We were on a flight with my boyfriend, JD, and he's <laughs> changed my life tremendously. I love him so much. The first time we met him at Club Paradise, I knew <laughs> that I want to be with him for the rest of his life and my life. I remember the first time I tasted him. I remember the first time I met his oh, family. God, they accepted me. My parents accepted you, JD. <laughs> J.D., I love you. Will you marry me, J.D.? Will you be my husband, I please? know, I know, I know. Sir, I, yeah, whatever, get out of here. J.D.? Yeah, go, all right, yeah. Please come out here. Please, <laughs> no, if you love me, no, please. No, I'm not. Don't be shy. Come on. Oh, J.D., please. I'm not going to. So John is saying, I love you. Won't you please come up here? And you're like, no, no, no. And no. Then the crowd starts cheering you on. Everyone is just staring at me. Like, it's just everyone has turned their seats and looking at me. And I'm like, and I a, gave him thumbs up. And I just get get back here. Just get back here. I'm like, I'm happy, man. Is that yes? 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 Just stand up. Sherman, please. Come on, bye. All right, I love you. Yeah, you said, please, please, thank you. I love you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. He stood up a little bit. Yeah, because I wanted whole, to get it over with, and somehow. <laughs> and, the, and the whole airplane applauded for John and JD. Yeah. The new power. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. I love you. You're a fucking idiot. Thank you very much. I love you. Okay, all right. Don't you champagne? Right. No, I don't want champagne. <laughs> I love you. Sweet. Oh, stop. Sweet. Thank you. Oh, what the fuck is this? Thank you very much. Oh, Get this fucking mic off me. <laughs> <laughs> Did they throw confetti all over? Oh, you? oh, they. Oh my, Robin. <laughs> This woman, so he does a proposal. He sits his ass down. A few minutes later, she comes up and she just throws shit all over me. JD, one more thing. Congratulations. Here's a little treat. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome I love you, honey. I fucking hate you so much. I love and we still have like two hours on this flight. I'm like, what the fuck? Come on, man. Are you, are you fucking kidding me? So they walked over to JD and dumped a whole bunch of paper napkins yes. all over him? Yeah, yeah. So it was like Rip Taylor coming over. <laughs> 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 and they had seltzer and they sprayed you. <laughs> and then they gave us Prosecco. And I, I, I wouldn't even drink it on the plane. I just took it off. Oh, my no, That goodness. was a gift to me and your wife. That was a gift. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. When you guys <laughs> land and you guys, you know, you're leaving the plane. 
are people still congratulating you? Oh, and say, yeah. Hey, yeah. Oh, yeah. There was a rabbi on the plane. He was like, Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. Congratulations. <laughs> it, was, it was great. I mean, going to the Super Bowl is a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Was it worth it having to put up with Blit and all of this uh, nonsense? <laughs> well, it would have been a lot more worth it if the Bengals had won. I mean, what, what am I going to do? I'm fucking dealing with a maniac. <laughs> 